Hi and welcome to my first ever video tutorial which will be about how to use a Mac and how to get accustomed with it so please bear with me as I drag myself through it. So the first thing I want to talk about is this Apple logo on the top left. Here you'll see a button called about this Mac so if you click that you'll be able to see general information about what version you're using which at the moment mine is 10, uh, Leopard 10.5 uh, you also see uh, what processor and uh, the amount of RAM you have. If you click on more info, you'll be able to see more in-depth stuff such as serial numbers and uh, just uh, you know like how many charges your battery's been through and you know just generally more in-depth stuff. What you would also find under the Apple logo is uh, your general options to shut down, restart, or put your computer into sleep. Um, you'll find uh, false quit which will which acts similarly to how Windows XP control alt delete works um, where you have the option to sh close down specific programs and also you'll find um, soft software updates which will allow you to update to your latest firmware and uh, update your drivers what you also see is drop down menus for file edit view go uh, if you open up Firefox, for example, what you'll notice is that the toolbar has changed to Firefox toolbar. So instead of how it is on a Windows where you will have toolbar a toolbar on each specific program, uh, on here is all integrated into one tool one toolbar at the top. So if I open iTunes, you see that uh, the iTunes options are available instead of the Firefox and if I switch back or focus back onto Firefox I'll have the Firefox preferences available um, this is just uh, one of the few differences between a Mac and a Windows moving along you'll be able to see uh, little specific things such as um, you know Bluetooth, battery uh, you know your internet connection, speaker settings and the time. Uh, this is quite similar again to uh, Windows XP where you would find uh, those options typically on the bottom right hand corner. Up here you also see a small magnifying glass which um, is called Spotlight. This is accessible by clicking it and also by pressing Apple and Space. Here you'll be able to type in or search almost anything that's on your Mac. So say if you're looking for an application such as Word if you type in Word, it will show you um, the top hits for Word. If you're uh, searching for uh, documents, you can type doc and it will show you um, any folder that's called documents or in, in fact, it will show you anything that uh, is related to documents. If you type in, uh, you can actually type specific file names. So um, if, you, if I type in something like, um, uh, I don't know, uh, Kanye, if I type in Kanye West, it will show me all the songs that I have on my computer made song by Kanye West. So on your desktop, you'll see an icon saying Macintosh HD. Don't worry about uh, my icon looking different since mine is customized. But um, if I would go ahead and open that and show you the newses area. Here you'll be able to see uh, all the user folders uh, of every profile that's on your Mac. So um, you'll be able to see uh, documents, uh, music, and uh, basically all the folders that you have on your Mac. Uh, if you uh, things you can do with it is that you can actually drag the folder onto um, onto the sidebar here, which uh, gives you quicker access to it. So say if I you know wanted to go into music, I could just open it, and their music is, and I could just click it and go into my music. Um, uh, to get rid of it you can just pick it up and just chuck it and uh, just drag it onto your desktop and it will be uh, gone. You can also drag it, uh, drag folders down onto the dock which is this thing down here. Um, so if I just grab uh, pictures and just pull it down here you see that it actually just appears and um, I'll have access to all my picture folders. Um, so yeah, again, uh, to get rid of it, you just need to pick up and just drop it on your desktop and it will just go. While I'm at it, um, you can see here that uh, I have my path at the bottom of the window. You can turn that on and off by going by clicking the window 
and clicking view and going to hide to uh, hide path or show path bar so if you click that it will um, just show it or uh, unshow it right at the bottom you'll be able to see your dock um, here you'll be able to drag in any applications that you use most commonly and uh, anything you want direct access to so um, to do that where you uh, you would go to Macintosh HD and the applications folder here you'll be able to see um, all the applications you have installed onto your Mac and uh, what you could do is you can actually pick up anything so say I want uh, I want Final Cut Pro to be on my dock I can drag it and just drop it on my dock and here I'll be able to open it straight uh, I can also uh, do the same with uh, folders which I earlier showed you but um, to make a shortcut to that uh, what you would need to do is you would need to create a folder um, say uh, short and then uh, what I can do is I can make a alias which is shortcut and uh, basically drag that alias into sh uh, that folder and uh, say I want to make an alias for uh, garage band as well and then I can put that here and then what I could do then is drag this folder down onto the dock and have direct access to uh, garage band and DVD player um, so that's that uh, another thing that you could do is uh, you can actually expand and minimize us uh, make the dock smaller by uh, clicking on this little bit here and dragging it up and down uh, you can adjust the magnification of it as well uh, you'll find this under um, system preferences where um, you will see this dock option and here you'll be able to change the size as well here and um, also the type of how big you want to the magnification to be when you hover over it you can change whether uh, what position your dock should be in and uh, the kind of effect minimizing it will have and you can also choose to whether hide the dock or not whilst I'm here I might as well talk about uh, the system preferences which is this icon down here uh, if you if you go ahead and open that you will you be able to see um, all the stuff uh, on your Mac uh, is this is quite similar to how control control panel is on uh, Windows XP uh, you be able to um, you know change your the appearance of Windows um, the kind of desktop and screen save uh, wallpaper and screen saver you have uh, the dock which I just showed you um, you can also uh, use expose and spaces which is um, basically if you tick enable spaces it will allow you to um, have multiple desktops so um, things won't get too cluttered up so I'm pressing control uh, left down uh, I mean right down left and up uh, you can adjust uh, how many spaces you want and uh, you know uh, just generally customize it to uh, whatever preferences preference you require um, so uh, what are spaces uh, basically spaces is um, multiple desktops which I mentioned um, so say if I open up loads of uh, new windows not tabs but windows um, I can actually move it across to a new space and uh, you know have different different things on different desktops so you know I can be looking at Google here and I can be looking at uh, Facebook uh, game trailers here and uh, DeviantArt here uh, and I can I can just quickly navigate between uh, all three uh, I can also um, uh, use it uh, new spaces for separating uh, lots of software so say if I have a lot of programs open uh, I can also have iTunes on this space instead uh, and uh, yeah what I generally tend to do is I usually have a space for work and uh, social and uh, messaging clients so um, yeah at the, at the end of the day is uh, again personal preference to how you use your spaces but um, it really does um, make your life a lot more easier and fun <laughs> so um, yeah that's uh, spaces Another way you could uh, actually navigate through spaces is um, if you press control and uh, one, two, three or four and um, yeah so uh, that's just another way to navigate through spaces if you would 
uh, if it suits you more that way. 